Hi, this is Paul Foster from Tandala Lodge in South Africa. This is a short video to give you an idea of how I made some bespoke door handle furniture for the wardrobes in the bedrooms at Tandala Lodge. I couldn't find a um, safari themed door handle from the local suppliers so I decided to make my own and I thought I'd share this with people that might have a similar problem or anybody into crafts that likes working with paper mache, air dried clay, plaster, or whatever. So my first attempt was um, a little lion uh, spore or footprint. <coughs> These door handles were to stick on the face of existing um, just aluminium or stainless steel flat circular door handles that were a bit boring not really in keeping with the theme of the place um, this is probably 45 to 50 millimeters across and there, w and there was also some smaller ones at about 25 mils across for the upper cupboard doors so I've, I've, I've made them in a variety of sizes the original sculpture probably took half an hour three quarters of an hour at the outside obviously the more complicated it is the more time it takes you to do but these were sculpted in air dried clay and set aside to dry when they were dried I covered them in successive coats of liquid latex um, you can use silicone but it's very expensive compared with latex and latex is more than adequate for this purpose um, first coat goes on a thin layer of latex um, you can use an air dry uh, oh, a hairdryer or blow on it gently to get rid of any bubbles that might come through. In retrospect I think maybe if you seal these with clear varnish before you put the latex on you would have less trouble with the air bubbles but I was in, a, in as always I was in a rush. Um, let that first coat dry, uh, stipple out any bubbles then put another coat on and then you can get a liquid latex thickening agent and then you can probably put two or three thickened coats of latex on but you must ensure that the latex is completely dry between coats um, you'll know that because it, when it goes on it's pure white and when it dries it's amber so you must let them dry between coats because if you seal a wet layer between two dry layers you'll never get it dry and it will rip when you remove them the uh, mold. Once you, <coughs> excuse me, once you've built those five or six layers up, that's more than adequate for a piece of this size. Um, you can pe you can then peel that off the original. Uh, wash the mold out in in warm soapy water to get any little bits of, of the original cast uh, original sculpture that may have stuck to the latex. Clean that off. You can then cast them in plaster or use air dried clay it m may take a little bit l longer to dry in air dried clay because you've only got one surface exposed to the air but I'm sure it would work fine um, I then finished these in a number of finishes um, all full uh, metal finishes um, pewter, bronze and bronze with a green patina um, and as you can see the, the, the effect of these things is, is, is quite good I was really pleased with them, and um, we're, we're, we're going to decide now which which theme we want for each, for each room, and, uh, and get these installed. Um, total time, I don't know. If you said half an hour or three quarters of an hour of sculpture, five layers of latex probably takes you two minutes a layer, and then and then drying time in between. Um, making your first cast mix a little tiny bit of plaster pour it in the mold you know 10 15 minutes it's set pop it out clean it up a bit drying time again um, then put a lick of paint on it black paint as a base base layer and then put your fold layer on so it's probably less than an hour and 10 minute per piece and and if you got all your originals done and then 
did the latex on all the originals at the same time and then you're casting all of, at the same time and you're painting all at the same time you can get quite a little production line going and probably get that time down to less than 20 minutes um, without the original sculptor um, per piece so they're quite inexpensive really so it's a nice little project I thought I'd share it with people because uh, people have similar problems and, and I'm sure people will come up with a few more ideas but it's 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 worth a try you'll learn little bits if you've never done it before and uh, it's 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 a good it's good skill to have sculpt, sculpting and um, mold making this is very simple mold making in its simplest form but it's good fun have a go enjoy speak to you soon bye You might also want to uh, make a visit to ultimatepapermache.com um, Have a look at what Johnny Good does on there. She's an amazing lady. Gives lots of help and advice to everybody. And I've learned a real lot from that lady. So visit us site. Then that's ultimatepapermache.com Bye.